This is Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 7 inch screen repair guide brought to you by Repairs Universe. To form this repair, we're going to use a few tools, including a small Phillips screwdriver, size double zero, a safe open pry tool, and since we're replacing the glass touchscreen, we're going to use fresh adhesive strips as well. So, the first thing to begin this repair is you want to make sure that the device is fully powered off. Then, you will want to remove the micro SD card there. Next step will be to remove the back cover. To do this, we're going to use a safe open pry tool and just press it along the seam. We suggest starting near the bottom charge port here and just releasing some of those clips to start off with and then just working your way around the bottom and both the sides. These clips are very stubborn on the Galaxy Tab 2 so just take your time with this. Just begin sliding your pry tool along that seam and release as many of those clips as you can. Make sure to apply some pressure that way the clips release a little bit easier. So it's going to work on this side here work around that little slot there Come back around the other side. Let's continue releasing those clips on the other side now. Be careful on this side with the buttons as it's a little bit weaker in that area, so you don't want to damage any of those clips. See, so we got the majority of the clips released now. Continue working back and forth. And once we get these final clips up on top. and then we'll be able to release the full back cover from the device. So there we go. I'm just going to run it one more time around the side here. And there we go. So there's the back cover removed from the Galaxy Tab 2. Next thing we're going to want to do is release that battery connection. That way we remove all the power from the device. Once that's released, we're just going to remove the six small Phillips screws holding the battery into place. All the screws in this entire device will be the same size so you don't have to worry about mixing them up. So once all these screws are released, the battery just pops out. I'm just going to put that to the side. And using our small Phillips screwdriver again, we're just going to remove the 12 screws shown in the diagram to the left. As I stated before, all these are going to be the same size, so you just throw them in one big pile. It's going to be a total of 12 screws located on the motherboard and holding in the lower speakers as well. And there we go, there's the final screw. Alright, so now we're going to begin releasing all the connections. All these are going to be pop connectors, so they're very simple to release. So starting here, this is going to be one of the loudspeakers. And we just fully remove that loudspeaker from the device. And the other loudspeaker, simple pop connector. Set it off to the side. Now on the far right here, we have the touchscreen flex cable. And then the LCD flex cable right there. This can be your sensor flex cable, your camera flex cable, and then a few more up top, including your front camera and then your side buttons there. And there we go. Now that we got all those released. We can begin removing some of those components and removing the motherboard completely. Motherboard itself, you just want to be very careful. You don't rip any of those cables as you're trying to pull it out. It's much easier to pull out from the top, as shown right here. Just lift it up, just make sure you don't get any of those cables caught. And then just lift it up gently until you can release that charge port. And there we go. There's the full motherboard. I'm just going to set that to the side. We're going to release this button flex cable, which is just going to be held in place with a little bit of adhesive. I'm going to swap over to a small flathead just to get a little bit more leverage underneath it. I'm going to start at the bottom here. Just begin lifting the adhesive, holding that flex cable in place. You just want to be very careful that you don't damage that flex cable as it is pretty thin. And there we go. And there's your button flex cable. I'm just going to put that off to the side. 
This is going to be your main camera right here. Just help play with a little bit of adhesive, just like the other one. Just put that off to the side. And now we're going to remove the two main spacers. It's going to be the first one up on the top right here. Just help play with a little bit of clips, so let's use a little bit of pressure. It should pop out quite easily. And same with this one on the left side here. There you go. And there's your front camera. And your sensor flex cable. I'm just going to use my safe open or my small flat head. Just get underneath that flex cable and just lift it up. And remove this cover over the headphone jack. And then remove the grommet covering the headphone jack as well. I'm just going to pry underneath and lift up the headphone jack. This adhesive was very strong, so just take your time with this one as you don't want to damage that. This flex cable here is also in, going to include the mic, which is this small piece right here, and then the mic cover. Alright, now we're just going to set that to the side. And that is all the components now removed from the device. So now we can begin removing the screen. To do this, we're going to use a heat gun or a hairdryer. Right here, we're just going to use a hairdryer. We're going to use medium heat. It's about an inch away, inch to two inches away from the device. And it's going to be again running along the outside edges. This is going to loosen up that adhesive that's holding this touch screen to the frame. So take your time doing this. It usually takes about 45 seconds to a minute. You don't want to overheat the device, so if you're using a heat gun, make sure you have it on a low setting. Let's continue heating the device up and just making that adhesive that's that much easier to release. Alright, so now that we have it heated, I'm going to try to use the safe open pry tool and pry it in. To gain best access, I'm just going to use one of the camera holes here. Just press my pry tool through it and just try to get a little spot where I can leverage my pry tool underneath. So it's pushing the screen away from the housing, and I'm just going to use another safe open pry tool. Just get underneath that adhesive. The adhesive holding this screen in place is very strong, so you're just going to need to take your time and be patient with it. This is also a cracked screen, so it makes it a little bit more difficult to release. You just want to be careful you don't get your finger caught with any shards, glass, or anything like that. And there we go, just releasing that adhesive. Starting on the top here. As you can tell, that adhesive is very, very stubborn. Because it is so stubborn, we're just going to use a heat gun again and just heat that up a little bit more. Soften that adhesive just a little bit more so we can get underneath it. And there we go. That should be much easier. down the side here. And there we go, it's coming up quite nicely now. Again working on the bottom. And 
there we go at this point you can just peel it back and just release all that adhesive and there we go you slide it through the little housing slot the housing and your touch screen is now removed from the Galaxy Tab 2 to remove the LCD screen if you're doing an LCD screen repair all you'll need to do is put a little bit of pressure on the back and pop it out and just feed this cable through or you can release it it's just a simple jaw connection and there we go your Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 is now fully disassembled all the parts and tools used in this video can be found at repairsuniverse.com if you found this video useful please be sure to like comment and subscribe on our YouTube channel or on this video and also be sure to check us out on Facebook and Twitter thank you for watching